Beautiful day, beautiful evening. It is the 27th of May. Just here at the close of the day. Just uh, been trimming off some tea bowls. Here, as you can see. Got a few more to do. Then I'll be moving on, making some more bud vases. Let's do it. So here we go. Just set up here on the wheel, just by the door here. Uh, see if we can get that there. Focus where we need to be. I think that's about it. All right. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. So yeah, these you saw me in the last video. You saw me um, wet paddling these. And just going to just trim them. How do we do that? Well, just damp the wheel head like that. Don't make it too wet. Then just damp the the rim. Put it face down. One finger there, and then tap center. There it is. Now some downward pressure. Take a trim tool, and we're going to cut sort of down at an angle like that there and now I'm going to go in there like that Let's stick a bit more light on the subject, even. Oh, why doesn't that work? Hang about. Plug him in there. Can't do. Can't do this kind of thing with bad light, can you? So. Righty ho. That. Now what I do is uh, from the cutoff wire there. I generally, I generally get rid of that, just like that. And now I start carving, cutting there. So you see, the hands and the tool work together. Now he's gone off centre there now. That's all right. I don't mind if that happens. Gives me a chance to pick it up and have a look at it. So it's it's a convenient. It's almost convenient if it does. Okay, just tap center. Damn the pressure. Pressure. will do indeed. Right, where's my seal box? Get my seal. So sometimes if these, this particular one is just a little on the hard side, just dip your, wet your finger, put it there where you're going to put the seal just for 20 seconds before you seal it, take your seal, and then with your finger your longest finger, 
right at the very bottom, bottom there, right opposite where you're going to push the seal. Okay, not a bad idea because you don't know necessarily how much pressure to give it, you know. If he's a little on the stiff side as well, then if you give too much pressure, you could just push through, couldn't you? When we do done that, we just recenter him up. Now, if he's visually obviously a little bit bent out of shape, I will just squeeze him. What I'm going to do now is just using the trim tool here and my finger, like like that. lightly, very lightly skimming just that that top bit there. That's it. A little bit more water. Use your fingertips now, just like this. Round it, make, make it nice. You know, because if it's been face down, it can get a rather sort of flattened look to the, the lip, which I don't like. Let's check that one out. Let's check him out. Okay, so so you have to decide for yourself what you like in terms of the width of the foot here, how it how it kind of how it visually looks compared to the the rest of the of the tee ball, you know. Um, the narrower the, the narrower you have the foot. Uh, it gives it more sort of elegance, but it gets to a point where it gets too much and then it looks, doesn't look right. So another thing to notice is there is a, a bevel on the edge of the trimmed foot there. Never leave a sharp edge. It doesn't look nice. It's not user friendly on furniture tops. And um, it's it more easily prone to chipping. If you take the edge off and put a, ch a chamfer there, uh, a bevel on the corner, it will make it stronger. A broken corner is always stronger than a sharp corner. A sharp corner is just going to chip. Okay, here's another one. This one is a little softer. Let's, let's do this guy. De -de 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 -de. So yeah, learn to tap center. It's it's kind of it's vitally important that you learn how to do it. I mean, you will learn how to tap center tap center if you make enough pots just by necessity. You will not be fart arsing around with a contraption, you know, with these trying to locate it because so it's so slow okay in there like that and now the foot there cut like that there and now yeah far housing around pardon my French but you know what I mean Now I'm going to, he'll probably loosen himself off the wheel head now, in a second. Unless I've stuck him down rather well. Which I might have done, of course. Okay. So these tools are kind of good because they've got the cutting edge of the tool don't know if you can see it, but the cutting edge of the tool goes around the corner here, you see. Same on this end. It cuts all the way from there, all the way around the corner. Which is, um, is useful, actually. Alright, there it is. Bravo! Right, again. Now, seal finger 
underneath. Let's just put him here. If he's obviously out of round, just straighten. Tap center. Okay. Now like this. This is real skimming. I'm not trimming the lip. I'm just skimming it. La, la, la. Okay, we've got another one here. This one, this one is done with that other paddle, with this paddle. You saw me. I, I, I've got a few more. I've got some over there which I did with the, that butter paddle. Okay. Just damp that, damp that. Okay. There he is. So you've got to learn to train. You want to learn to train your eye. Um, he's, now he's lost. He's come off. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn to train your eye so that you can, your eye will tell you whether you're on center or not. It might, it might seem, it might seem a bit mysterious, but I can assure you that it's, it's not, and that you will. Tell you what, this is not ideal conditions for because the sun is coming in. I'm not feeling like I'm getting enough light to see what I'm doing over there. Quiet. I'm looking in my mirror though. My mirror, my trusty friend. He's telling me you're doing all right, Simon. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, he came off. If you have a tea bowl that is, has an, uh, let's say, like, you know, like an undulating top, which sometimes they do, Mine don't generally have that so much. Mine are usually just fairly straight across the top. But some of them are, are you know, you look at a lot of Japanese tea bowls, they're kind of like very wavy, you know, seven mountains. Well, of course, if you're trying to get that to stick to the wheel head, you'll find it quite difficult because the, the points of contact are, are not enough to adhere it. With that kind of trimming, you, you want to have a have a, a raised thrown raised uh, as it were like a stem you know which actually locates right down right down in in the, on the base of the pot so he's like that you know on a stem that's just an, another way another way of doing it I, I like I, I quite like sometimes that that's a oh it's come off again Simon this is getting embarrassing it's all right it's good to be embarrassed isn't it doesn't hurt
Yeah, occasionally you will get a pot or a tea bowl. That this method, this method that I'm, I am, um, yeah, I can see he's not quite sticking there. And that's causing him to be to have some slippage. <clears throat> A little slippage. That'll do. Right, now because this one of all that went on with all that slipping and having to re wet it and put it back down again, etc. So I'll show you what the lip I don't know if this is gonna come out in the video or not, but here you, you, you may see it's it's got some flattened a kind of flattened a little bit of a flattened edge which is not nice I don't like that so that's why I um, that's why I put it back so now this one is also a little bit overlated overlated okay so now I'm going to carefully you notice how I'm doing this this hand okay is here to, uh, you know, it's the just in case hand, just in case he comes off. So I've got that hand there and I'm just very lightly with this tool, just dressing the edge. Dressing the edge, yeah, dressing the edge. Okay. Uh, just see. Well, let's get a couple more. We've got a couple more here. This is the one that I did with a, a this guy. So let's do him. So some of you, if you're if you're new to my channel, maybe you're new to pottery, and you didn't know that you could trim like this, like I'm doing it. You thought, oh, I've got to get all these lumps of clay. I've got to stick lumps of clay here. And I tell you, that's the biggest hassle because when you when you do that, when you do that you um, all your trimmings fall down onto the wet soft clay stick to the soft clay and it becomes somewhat of a, a pain the whole thing anybody can anybody identify with that You see, if you get the, if you create the right, the right conditions between the, the lip of the pot and the wheel head, uh, you'll find that the pot will, the, most of the time, most of the time, as, I, as you saw in the last, in the last, with the last pot I did, you saw how many times it kicked coming off, you know. Occasionally you get one like that. But for, if, the, if you're dealing with a pot that's got a, a, uh, a lip that is sort of flat, you know, and it'll just, it'll stick down onto the wheel head. You've got to create the right conditions though. If it's too dry, it won't adhere. If it's too wet, it'll slip around. 
So you have to sort of hit the sweet spot where it's it, you create a kind of tackiness between the clay and the wheelhead and it, and it sticks. Now quite a few people in the last video made some comment about oh Simon Simon's changed his clay it's a little more grey. <laughs> well I You'll see in this one, I haven't actually changed my clay, but this is recycled clay. I don't know if we'll pick it, the camera will pick it up, but you can see here there's a little a bit of a line different. This portion here is slightly redder, whereas this portion here where I've cut into it with the trim tool is, is more grey here. That's because... Um, Let's just come over here to the bench a second and I can show you more exactly. Hang about. I'm trying to do this one handed. Let me just stick the camera down here. You'll probably be in the picture, more or less. Um, so I've cut through. Uh, but of course, that one doesn't, isn't demonstrating what I want to show you. So if you do if you do do your own clay recycling, okay, yeah, this this shows it nicely. Okay, so if if you do do your own clay recycling, you will come across what I'm about to show you, and that is um, so. If you see that clay I've just cut through, you see the grey streaks in the clay. That is that is what is causing the clay to take on a grey a grey look. And that is because the clay has been recycled and it's been sitting in a bucket and is rotted. It's rotten rotting clay takes goes a dark colour like that, okay? That's why. Okay? But there's nothing, there's not, it's not a different clay or anything like that, I haven't changed nothing. It's just that the clay is, it, it is recycled and a little bit, a bit rotted. And it stinks! <laughs> you ever put your net, I mean sometimes if you go down into my, into my bucket here, well, let's do it and have a look. Oh gosh. Ooh! Now I don't know if you can notice this clay. Here, I'm pulling out of here. Can you see? That's gray. It's got a grayness to it because it's been sitting down. Whatever. It's been sitting down at the bottom of my throwing bucket here, and it's taken on that gray, that gray look. Okay. All right. We answered that question. Now I've got to wipe my hand. Touch. Uh, yeah, just got to finish this guy, haven't I? Uh, yeah, you want. To, yeah, I encourage you recycle your own clay. You know, some people they throw pots and all the, all this trimmings and everything. You know, they just throw it away. Just throw it away. Well, I don't like doing. It. I like to recycle it. I know it takes a bit of time. So what? Kind of feels better than throwing it away. That would just not give me a good feeling. Okay, there he is. Let's put let's put a seal on him. So here's the thing: when you when you apply a seal, let's just talk about that for two seconds. Um, when you apply a seal. To the bottom of a pot. Number one, try to have your hand opposite inside where where you're going to seal it. And I take the seal, apply the seal. Don't just push it uh, like that. What you want to do is apply some gentle pressure, okay? And as you do it, you see how I'm doing that. I'm I'm wiggling it left and right, twisting it a little bit left and right, okay, with a little bit of pressure. And if you do that, you'll find you'll get a good, a good imprint. 
That's not a bad little tip for you. Okay, now, <laughs> because I was manhandling it then, doing all that, you see this one's bent out of shape. Uh, this one was a little softer. So that's, a, that's a, an instance where, and what we could do, of course, is um, use a rounder, if you have a rounder. I use this one generally on my tankers, it might fit. Yeah, it does. So you could use this just with a gentle pressure now. Okay, don't, don't put any force to it, like that, before now we're just going to recenter him back on the wheel, like that. Bring this hand in, okay, the just in case hand, and now just lightly, very lightly there on the. Woo. <laughs> yeah, this is a good. This is a good, a good game to learn how to catch, isn't it? got one more to do let's do that one this one this one doesn't have any paddled this one is just plain this one will be just for uh, just decorating it with glazing and decorating you know with my my pigments pigments so this one will just have some brush decoration let's quickly do this guy so we do a cut like that at an angle and now I come in at this angle now, I particularly like my feet to be a little bit cut in you know um, now the best way to do these th these these tea, bowl, tea bowls, in my opinion, is do them fairly fast. And I know that if you're not, if you're new to trimming, that's that's maybe a little bit of a tall order. But you know, generally pots uh, are better if they're made oh, a little bit on the quick side. They're not over overly dwelt upon, if you know what I mean. Not overly thought about too much you you sort of like as I say you know that that comes with that does come with with uh, with practice and a sort of sort of an unconscious way that you go about making them it's it's kind of quick and as you see I'm doing with this one there's not much there's not much fuss is there all right he's done he's done So I'm applying the seal, a little bit of that, you know, like this, you push and then you, you want to go like that a little bit. It'll help you to get the, to get the impression of the seal into the, the clay, which is what we want. Okay, just, yeah, you, this one looks pretty round, so just in case hand here and now just very lightly there like that a little bit of water and there he is another one bites the dust okay <laughs> 